Well, it's, it's disappointing to drop a couple in the first weekend. Um, you know, we've, I think we have a proud program, and you know, we're just going to schedule top. We brought two ranked teams in, number four, number 21, and if we were pegged at 16 in the preseason poll, and we, we lost both those. Um, we played hard, we fought, but we have a lot to learn. And uh, you know, when you play teams that are, are good, you're going to find some of the things that you need to work on, and, and that's the beauty of it. Uh, we, we have to get things turned around and start beating people. You know, you, you, the thing you, you're concerned about in pre-conference is you want to make sure you go about eight and three. Well, we're one and two right now. Of course, two of the ranked teams that we play are out of the way. Uh, there might be one or two ranked teams ahead of us, but it's not going to be an easy road. But we have to get to eight and three, so then we can go into conference season and, and break even or be about even, and then be able to get the NCAA tournament draw. And that's just what we have to we have to settle for. That's the low end. That isn't the high end of what we're shooting for. But as a coach, you always know what you have to do to, to reach the initial goal, which is to get into the NCAA tournament. And so to start off one and two means you know your back's already a little bit against the wall, and your kids and, and your staff have got to come together and really start to get some things done. Well, I just think that you know going into the season. The, the big concern was um, playing a redshirt freshman in the middle who was only you know, about six foot half inch. And would she be able to hold her own? Because you had the size and the, and the athleticism in the other spots, but you, know, you were a little green in, in that position. She was coming off of a knee procedure as well. But she's answered all the questions. You know, she has been the, I guess the, the, the silver lining in this, this weekend is that she has proven that she's gonna be able to do enough that if her teammates can consistently play, that will be pretty good. And so, you know, she was good, and I was glad to see she made the all-tournament team because I thought she deserved that. And she brings it every day. She is a great role model for what we're searching for. You know, we've got to get all those players who already, you know, in their history have been a little up and down to, to get consistent. And Faye has a way of knowing that, you know, what, what to do and how to, how to play. So, you know, I think she's doing a good job of setting the tone.